Hi everybody, welcome once again to the Crew Clan series of tents. This is what the Crua clan actually breaks down into. So these are the pack sizes and weights. I just want to run through, through the individual ones. Here is the Crua Duo, our two-person hiking tent that can be used by itself when weight, um, when weight is an issue or, or weight is a consideration for those hiking trips, etc. So the Crua Duo, this weighs in at just under six pounds. It's 22 inches long by five inches by five inches, so five inches squared at the end, 22 inches long, and it is just under six pounds weight, Crua Duo. This is the Crua Cocoon, our insulated tent that can be used inside the Crua Duo for, for other, on other occasions when weight isn't as much of a consideration, um, for car camping, etc., motor bike camping, um, kayak, whatever it is. Um, the weight on this is 15 pounds, it is, 26 and I say 27 inches long by 13 inches wide by 11 inches high so that again is the Crua Cocoon our insulated two-person tent and this is the Crua Core our central dome living tent again goes up by airframe as does the Crua Cocoon these both of these tents go up with air poles or airframe the Crua Core this guy weighs in at thir about 32 pounds weight it is 35 inches long by 14 inches wide just over 14 inches wide 14 and a half to 15 inches wide actually by 14 inches high okay so again this is what they pack down into this is our crew core crew cocoon and our crew duo just to give you an idea of the pack down weight and sizes Okay, so here is the crew core in its bag. We're just going to pitch this to show you how easy it is. Again, a big part of the design was to make this as easy as possible to use based on feedback from people who just uh, don't like putting up complicated systems. So we're using an airframe here, um, so air poles, so it's all inflatable. Okay, so simply out of the bag, I'll put this bag to the side. And we'll find the buckle. Uh -huh. So we have two compression straps, just to keep it all nice and tidy. Sorry, now this has been pitched quite a bit. It's been well field tested at this stage, so. Now, okay, so that's it pitched out. I'd always stake in the four corners, just so you know you, you, you have the correct, or you have it in place. It's not going to bounce around. Um, I should also add that there's a footprint that comes under this. I'm not using it today just to speed things up a little bit, but there's an extra footprint that also comes as standard with the tent just to protect that ground sheet a little bit more, okay? First thing you do, there are three valves in all, so three poles, one goes corner to corner, one goes corner to corner, and one goes on the, over the porch as well. So we're going to pump them. It's a simple valve system, so easy to release and easy to pump. So again, it's quite simple. That's the, if you're not familiar with the airframe, our air poles, it's quite simple. What you're doing is you're pumping the air in the valve and it's pumping up this pole going from corner to corner. Again, quick check PSI. Always a good idea to stake the corners at this stage. This is the one over the porch, over the front, where you can attach your vehicle to the, to the, to the front if you want, or just close it up. Okay, so that's your crew core pitched. As you see, 
couldn't be easier. A few little things to tidy up, closing the Velcro and stuff like that. But other than that, we're done. So you'll see there are three doors here at the front. You have one on this side, one opposite, and one at the front here. So if you're attaching a vehicle, it's handy to have the side doors in use because rather than trying to get it in and out that way. But if you're not attaching a vehicle to the front, you can quite simply leave these closed and use your front door as you wish. So there you go. There you have it, your crew of core.